Hello Libra, we're getting ready to do your April 2020 monthly forecast, which is an overview of what's going on in your love life for this April. This is Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus of Libra. It will not and cannot resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, please go to the playlist. The readings by Tarot Philosophy are all good for 6 to 12 months. So any of the readings that I have posted will qualify for that since I am a relatively new channel. All right. So Libra, what do we have? For those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. I so appreciate your support. Please like, subscribe, share, and enter the contest by leaving a comment. Your energy Libra, look at this, is Sacrifice. That is the Justice card. It shows that is your energy. You have appeared in your reading. You are awakening. Cupid is, is shooting arrows at you. Cupid is awakening you to let go of something so you can find the true love that you deserve. Libra, Libra, what an interesting start to the reading. All right. What, what brings you to the reading? Ah, a tower moment. Something surprising you didn't expect. We have a water taxi taking off out of a relationship. We can see it right there with this justice card. All right. What is the crowning energy? The best that can happen for April. We're getting that. Okay. It looks as though some of you have parted ways with someone who has uh, looks like we have a fiery king of wands this person has separated from you oh beautiful in the near future we do have the princess of coins which allows you it you know what we're getting here is a new um, beginning that's a love offer coming in and look at this five of arrows you feel a sense of sadness and grief over someone who did not treat you very well. You are really hoping that there is a reconciliation. It appears with the King of Wands, which is Leo energy. When we get the Balance card, that's Sagittarius energy. That's known also as Temperance. The Five of Arrows is Libra energy also, and it shows that somebody has not been honest. They've been disingenuous. Your outcome is the Eight of Coins. You are working on something. You are working on your coin. You're working on putting your life together. You're working on stability. You know, you're trying to find your happy place again. You're taking solace and work. Uh, let's look and see why the Temperance card is here. The Magician card, you're trying to manifest a, a reunion. All right, and we're going to clarify at the end with oracle cards, but let's dig into the reading. Why do we have the sacrifice, the justice card here? What is this justice card about? Why would it be just for a lover to leave? Let's see, where's justice? Now, this could also be that that person's going to, they're living out their karma, which is a lesson we have to learn. Why does Libra have this Justice card here? The Ace of Coins, an offer of love. All right. Why is the offer of love here with a departure? Why is this offer with a departure? All right. You're offering your person reasons, very good reasons to stay. We have the Wheel of Fortune that is Sagittarius energy. Okay, why is the person, oops, hold on. Why is this person not accepting this? Why is this person continuing to leave even though you're calling them back? Why is this person leaving? Why is this person leaving? Why is this person leaving? Okay, I have a flipper in here. I believe it's a death card. Yep, here it is, reversed. Okay, well, all is not lost because I do get the death card reversed. It means it is not over yet. The Eight of Cups does show that this person is, um, again, that is a card of leave-taking. That somebody leaving to go to their happier place, the place that they dream about. Okay, how is this going to affect our Libras? Wow, Knight of Cups. 
Okay, so there's good news that I see, and that is that when this person leaves, it actually is a good thing. It really says that you're having a tower moment so that you can have a more sincere love coming in. That whatever heartache you have about this person, you know, when we get the balance card, we're looking at maybe a Libra. When we get the Three of Swords, we're really looking at another Libra. So I don't know if you're dating a Libra, but this is very interesting energy, and it can be vice versa, as you all know. All right. Why is the Cupid card here? Page of Pentacles. A new, You have new love coming in. So don't cry over spilt milk. The cards are saying that you are losing someone who was not very honest, who was not very kind, that the person that is leaving you was somewhat disreputable, you know, that that they were they were very jealous of you. They were very controlling. They wanted to control you. And um, that wasn't healthy for you. Why is the Six of Swords here? the fool, or excuse me, the hanged man, looking at things from a different perspective, feeling very confused. Oh, judgment card, good for you, Libra. You're able to leave the past behind. You're still working on yourself. So for many of you with whom this resonates, you have had a breakup. You're not quite over it. The breakup could be any, any length of time of unrequited love between three months and even up to 30 months, you know, a year, year and a half. Um, why is the Three of Swords here? A big, a really big burden. Why is the Three of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. The person wasn't willing to do the work. They left because they weren't willing to do the work. All right. Why is the Princess of Coins here for a beautiful Libras? Why is the Princess of Coins here? Well, until you get an offer of value, you're just going to keep to yourself. Why is the tower card here? Why did it come as a surprise? Ten of coins. Hmm. That's an inheritance. That if you lost somebody or a love relationship, it actually shows that there's a ship on rough waters. What we're getting here is that someone left for what they thought was a bigger payoff. Now, that also tells me that the person is motivated by money, not love. The Ten of Coins, yep, here we go. The Ten of Coins says that this person left to go to some place that was happier. They were immature in the doing of that. I get that there is someone, the Chariot card, that was um, basically chasing after them, or they were chasing after the other person. All right. Star card, beautiful for you. Look at this beautiful energy for you, Libra. You're the high priestess, you're healing, you're discreet, you are, have this beautiful star card bringing in divine love. I'm getting that this is going to be a win for you. So what that what does that mean? What does it mean that you're, you're going to look back at this person retrospectively when you have your new love, your new divine love, and you're going to look at this person. You're going to have your twin flame. The tower has come down so you could have your twin flame. And uh, what's what it's telling us here is that you have good karma coming in. That you, this person had to get out of your life so that you could heal. So that you could rise above the, the mundane, um, unimportant, sort of very... Oh, narcissistic or selfish ways of this person that you were with who was trying to control you. They didn't even bring much to the relationship. They thought they, well, they were arrogant. Wow, arrogant. You wanted a relationship in which you had a partnership and could manifest a beautiful new beginning and it shows that they just weren't on board. You're going to get your Ten of Cups from this Libra. This is, as much as it hurts right now, the cards are showing that you were betrayed. Because when we look at this, we get, you know, Vivian betrays Merlin. And and this is a, be car a card of betrayal. This is a card of lying. Okay, why do you have the temperance card here? Your person's going to come back to you, but you're gonna, you, you've moved on. 
your person is going to realize the error of the ways they're going to come back they're going to beg you for a return and you're like nope not having it I have a divine partner Wow all right let's take a look at wisdom of the Oracle for you Libra that is a there's always a reason there's always a reason and be happy you you dodged a bullet so they say you know that's like a saying it doesn't really mean you dodged a bullet but you are going to look back at this time in your life and you're going to be so grateful that that person left message in a bottle you're going to get a download from the universe time to go <laughs> here and now leave it behind run off jump off the pier into the water have fun celebrate life do not let this don't let the turkeys get you down and i like turkeys but not the ones who lie cheat and steal all right you are going to have your treasure island you are going to have your beautiful dream of what you really wanted with somebody who actually deserves you and flexibility you're just go out there put yourself out there your person is waiting for you you are the manifestation be patient and enjoy the stillness the illumination all the things that you need to know are coming your way you find inner peace your purity brings you on a voyage of success in love and look at that purification you're going to be with a partner who is as honest sweet kind loving and balanced as you are libra thank you so much